We are now joined by David Lloyd, who is the director of the U.S. EPA, Office of Brownfields and Land Revitalization. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Tara. What do you feel is this year's theme of the conference, and what do you hope attendees get out of it? Well, you know, first and foremost, this is a training conference. It's a national training conference. It's uh, one of EPA's largest, and so we want the basic core training for communities and tribes in what a brownfield is, how to address a brownfield cleanup, how to address brownfield revitalization. That's, that's the core theme. I think secondarily we're going to be touching a lot on some strategies we have to get there. Area-wide planning is a big part of this conference and talking about that, it's a priority of, of our assistant administrator and EPA and we're going to move that forward. And we're going to try to weave in different end uses that could be helpful to communities like um, manufacturing for example so we got some good sessions there public health is a big theme of this conference uh, and then also green remediation and and some different approaches in that regard so we're excited to be here and another area that i know that you're excited about is the economic redevelopment forum right. explain to people what that is sure. and why that is so important i will you know um, the, the end goal of Brownfield's cleanup and revitalization is economic redevelopment for communities. And this forum, which we've done in several conferences and it's become even more successful, brings uh, developers to the table with communities that can actually market their sites directly. And so this year we've got a really vibrant uh, schedule. Uh, we've got a White House senior White House official that's going to join us and speak at part of it. So I hope people take time to go by the forum. So by bringing the real estate world mm -hmm. into brownfields, what do you hope that will gain? What will change in the process? Well, I mean, you know, as, as we talk about all the time, it is truly a public-private partnership. And so while the EPA, the government can do some things to start that, can get that initial funding, can give some security about liability, you need the private sector in a strong way and the, the real estate, both the real estate industry, the lending industry um, are critical partners to help these projects move beyond that post cleanup phase into robust redevelopment. And like you're talking about that private public sector is mm -hmm. so important. Talk about how the EPA is helping to foster that even further. Well, it is critically important and, and I think um, in a couple ways. One, we are continuing and we're going to continue to fund assessment and cleanup activities and the assessments do begin that process they really do start a community down or tribe down the path of redeveloping a site and it gives some security and confidence to developers and to lenders that okay this site's on the right path it's going to get cleaned up it's going to get supervised cleanup and and so that's sort of the public side of it um, we're continuing to fund those activities, but we also are doing things like I just mentioned a minute ago, area-wide planning funding, helping a community plan around sites and decide what infrastructure is needed and, and really lay the groundwork for the private part of the public-private partnership. David Lloyd, thank you so much for your thank time you, today. Thank you, Tara. Have a nice day.